how to install Plex Media Server on your QNAP device. So you've got various ways of doing this. The easiest way is to go to the App Center and look for your Plex Media Server. So here we go, we've got version 1.19.4. So this is sort of the easiest way, this is sort of the recommended route and I've already got it installed but you would have an install button here and you could just click through it and that will install it for you. This is quite a stable version but look at the release date, we're in, we're in August 2020 now as I'm recording this and this was last released on 2019. October 2019 so we're missing out quite a lot of features so how do we get the latest feature well really there isn't any automated way of actually doing this so it's a bit quite frustrating but I could show you a quite simple way that way you can get around this so if you navigate to your Plex media server here we go so I'm I'm on version 1.19.4 which is which is quite higher so but we've got a new update and I've got this little message here. So if I have a look at what's new, I can see, oh, okay, we've got all these you know, fixes and new features. This feature actually quite here, find any intros in the first half of the episode. So it's an intro detection is trying to allow you to skip intros, which is quite interesting. So how can I get this feature? Well, you know, you really need to install them manually. So we've got a really convenient button here, which if you click the button, a download will pop up or a um, QPKG file. In alternative, you can go to the Plex media server yourself and you can pick your platform. So you can see all the platforms that are compatible. So I've got QNAP and I can download the package myself I can also pick the CPU processor that you that I have. In my case, it's an Intel AMD 64. So I would I would download that, and basically you would get the same package that you would have downloaded here. First time you do this, you would need to download it from here because obviously you wouldn't have a Plex um, installation, right? Other thing to note that if you do have if you have already installed it through this automated way, I believe you need to uninstall this through the automated way first and then install again manually. So I'd recommend you take a backup and that should be that should be good enough. So to install it manually, click on the plus install manual. And here we go. So we've got a very brief message from QNAP telling you be aware you know, you're going to um, install something that potentially comes from a non-authorized website or non-authorized by QNAP. But because this is coming from Plex, we're quite confident that this is safe. So you would browse to your file, you would pick your file, and then you would just install it. 